Hey designers, I'm pretty sure you've experienced this before. You're working on a logo project, you've poured your heart out, put out your sketches, you bring it into Illustrator and at the end of the day, you're not too so happy with how it looks. Today, we're going to learn how we can build our sketch into a logo design that is perfectly balanced and our clients love. So stick around and let's go. Alright guys, so we are right here in Illustrator and I have my sketch here for logo for a fashion brand and I'll just select it and reduce the opacity to 50% and I'm going to just lock it here in the layers panel. Now I'll zoom in so I can have better clarity and I'll come to my pen tool here. I'll press shift and X to make it a stroke. Set my stroke to about two points and let's start tracing. So I'm just going to come over here and create a new layer and I'll just draw over this section here so we have a line and I'll hold alt and click and drag which is going to give me the width for the K right there we go so we have our horizontal bars now let's do the vertical right now we need to get the middle between these two so I'll just hold Alt again and watch out for the guides where it shows you that it's in the center. There we go. Now it might not exactly match your sketch because our sketch is not 100% perfect. Now I'll bring my pencil to the center here and I'll just draw over here like this. Press enter. I'll also bring my pencil again to draw this section right, and there we have that I'm going to draw the closing parts just here and there we go we're going to do the same thing for this side as well all right so we formed the top part of our logo now we don't need to do this at the bottom again all we have to do is just select all these lines, up to our reflect tool here. Just click on this line once. Then you want to hold Alt, your Alt key, and click and drag. And there we go. We found the bottom part of our logo already. Right. Now it's always advisable to make a duplicate of your sketch just in case anything goes wrong. So I'll just do that here. Right, so now I'll select this and I'll go to my shape builder tool. You can do that with shift and M or come here. I will just trim all the external parts of the logo that we don't need. All right guys, so we're done with the outline of the logo and a trick to make sure there are no straight points. Just select everything. Press Shift and X to make sure it's a fill. Then go to your properties panel and on the pathfinder, click on trim. That's going to take out any extra points that we're hanging around. So now we know we just have a fill, right? So I was done with this logo ball. I kind of saw some problems with it. It didn't look in harmony especially this bar and this sides they look like two separate items and there was some misalignment on this diagonals here so that's the first thing we're going to treat let's look at this bar and let's see how we can harmonize it with the rest of the loop so i'll just select this point and bring it down and i'll also select this point and bring it up i moved it about six steps Right, yeah, the logo is kind of taking shape, but it's not really there yet. I think I'm just going to select this and bring, sorry, select both and bring it a little closer. But still, I was still not fully happy. And I saw one thing with the, the points here not being properly aligned. So I'll just bring my guide here. This here so I want I want each of these points to all be on the same line 
right so i'll just zoom in for clarity and i'll select my direct selection tool here select this point and just drag it down by holding shift select this point here by dragging up and holding shift and our logo is kind of taking shape so i'll delete this bottom point here right so i can select this two sorry i need to double click select this two go to my reflect tool by pressing o i'll just click on this point here and just hold alt and drag to reflect it and you can see our logo is starting to get some more shape and just for some context this was where the logo was before and this is where it is currently now you can see how this variation looks a bit more harmonized and more balanced than our original sketch right so the logo process is kind of an iterative process it's kind of like the evolution of man even when you are done with your really good sketch you need to make tweaks until the logo is as balanced as possible so this project was actually for a client of mine who runs a clothing brand and you can see the full brand identity on my social media. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would love to learn more about logo design, just click the video on screen. Bye bye.